Hey everyone, it's Renee from Sweet Pea Labs here with a quick uh, Google Slides tutorial for my interactive notebooks. So if you are using one of my interactive notebooks, uh, there are various things in Google Slides that you'll need to know to do. And I'm going to go through some of them right now. And this is just an example um, interactive notebook and the student version of what it might look like. So usually when you have an interactive notebook, it's going to have a cover page here. And then it will have other content that you can look at on the side. And you can scroll up and down the side to see the different pages of your notebook. So instead of actual pages that you would flip, these are pages that are on slides. Um, so then you can see content or you can see text or words or pictures that are going to show you different things that you would need to learn. Eventually, you're going to get some to something inside the Google um, notebook that asks you to do something. A lot of times it might be moving pictures from place to place um, to get to a correct spot. Notice in your notebook that you're not going to be able to move the background. And that's cool. That's the way it's supposed to go. But what you will be doing is taking pictures and dragging them around, right? So this one says sort the root pictures into the correct categories. Well, this is a below ground root. This is a root that we eat. This is a root that's in water. What if I accidentally change the size? That's okay. There's this button up here in the left-hand corner that's got the back arrow and I can just undo and that makes it the bigger size again. So anytime you mess something up and you say, uh-oh, I don't know what to do, you can press that back arrow and that's your un undo arrow. Some other notebooks will have places where you can type. So you might be able to type an answer here. What I'm gonna do is highlight here and I can start typing whatever my answer might be. So I'm gonna say whatever my answer might be. But what do you notice about this? The text is really light. I can't quite read the text. So I'm going to highlight that. And up here, when you highlight text in a text box, you have this whole toolbar here that helps you um, change your text to how you want it. And this little A with the color underneath lets you change the color of your text to whatever you want it to be. If I want it to be black, I would click on the A, click on the black. You can click on any of these colors. It's kind of between you and the teacher whether uh, they want you to use a different color or not. Wouldn't matter to me. So that's how you change your text. If you wanna change your text font style, you click here and there's a whole list of Google fonts. There are hundreds of Google fonts actually. If you wanna change the size of your text, you click on the number and it gives you all kinds of options of what you want, you want your size to be. You can bold your text by clicking the B. You can italicize it, which makes it kind of slanted. You can underline your text as well. And this little Thing right here is a highlighter so you can choose a highlight color right so those are all different ways that we can change our text now I'm going to undo everything we just did so I'm going to click this undo button until it gets me back to my original text up oh, I have one more to do okay so um, I want to show you also there might be times where you have to add your own slide in there so this little plus sign here in the top left corner is where you would add your own slide. To get rid of these boxes that are already there, you would click on the box. See how the cursor is kind of blinking in there? That means it's not ready to delete. You need to click on the edge of the box and then you can press backspace and it will delete. So click on the edge of the box, backspace, delete. Now you have a nice clear slide here and we'll go through some of the tools that you can use in google slides to build things sometimes in the interactive notebooks um, you'll have choices of things to add to your slides on your own one thing that we can add to our slide here is a text box and this little t with a box around it is the text box when you click on that and it's highlighted the little crosshairs this little plus sign here comes up and i can create a text box here that means I just click and drag it and make it as big as I want. Any images or text sizes or text boxes that you want to, you can make different sizes. You can drag them by the corner. You can drag them by the side, make them different sizes, drag them by the top. 
okay? All different things you can do there. When I click inside my text box, I can type. So type here. Now this text isn't in the middle of my text box, so I'm gonna highlight it. And again, remember we have all these options of things we can do with our text to change it. I can change the font, I can change the size. Let's say we want this pretty big. I'm gonna make it 24. I'm gonna make it bold. I'm gonna make it red. Um, and then this box over here with these little lines, it shows you how the text is aligned inside the box. Right now, it's aligned to the left. Anytime you see a tool with a little arrow that's pointing down, that's your drop down box, which means that's gonna be more options in there when you click the drop down. So here's where it is right now. I want it centered. You could make it go all the way to the right. Or this one is justify, which means it makes everything line up on the edges. There are also these options. This says I want it lined up at the top or you can line it up in the middle of the box, or you can line it up at the bottom of the box. So I'm gonna make this one center, and I'm gonna make it middle of the box, and I'm gonna change my box size to kind of fit my text a little bit better because it's huge. You can also, right now, if I click off here, it just looks like the words. But if you want to, you can, um, change the outside outline and create an outline for your text box if you want to. And those options are always over here. You can fill your text box or any box with a color if you want. So if that's red type, maybe I want a gray background. So here's what it looks like. I could make that an even darker gray background so that looks better for you guys. What if I want an outline, this little border color I could make it a black border. This is what it looks like. Or I could make it any other color that I want in here. If I want it to be a black border, but I feel like it's too thin, it's not showing up, I highlight my text box so it's surrounded in blue. That means I can change whatever I want about it. And this is making the line thicker on the border. You can do this around images, you can do this around text, you can do this around all kinds of things, but it's always this border color and the border size. So maybe like four. Now it looks like this. That's pretty cool, right? You can also change the type of line that goes around your border. So if you wanted something to be dotted, it would look like that, right? All of these different options here, dashed, I'm gonna go back to just the straight line. So text box, something that we can add to our slides. Images we can add. So if I click, remember the drop down arrow will give me more options. I can get images from various places. So this is like a little picture and it's always gonna be the insert image. And so here, if I look, I can upload it from my computer. That would be like an image that you have downloaded on your computer. I can search the web, I can get pictures from my Google Drive or my Google Photos or by a link, or I can take them from a camera, which is kind of fun too. Right now we're going to do search the web. Google has a little safe search over here for you to use. So let's just say I wanted to search um, dinosaur. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start typing in dino. So there's dinosaur. <clears throat> and then these are images that I can add into, um, into my picture. So all I do is click on the one I want. I can double click it and it's giant right now. It's taking up a lot of space. So now I can drag it by the corner if I want. What happens if I drag it from the top? Let's see how funny my image looks. Now he's very squished. And if I drag it from the side, he gets even more squished. Let's say I don't like that. I'm just gonna go over to the undo button and undo it until I make him back the way he was originally. So if I drag it by the corner, it keeps all the proportions the same so he doesn't look funny in his image. Now look at this little dot right here. This little dot, when I go on it and you can see the little crosshairs, that means I can rotate my image, right? So I can turn him around, I can turn him upside down. I can turn him any way I want to. Right, when I get back to zero at the top, that's what he looks like. 
Same thing here. If you want to put a border around your image, remember to add a border. You have to pick a color. You have to pick a, a thickness. And now I have a border around my picture. Okay. Um, next thing that you can add would be shapes. So when I click on this little circle and square, that means I can choose shapes. There are a lot of options of shapes to choose from. If I'm going to choose, let's say, just an arrow, now I need to draw out that shape. So you can see it form as I click and drag. There's my arrow. You'll always see this blue box. You'll always see this dot. You'll see that the shape is uh, filled in with gray. I don't want a gray shape. I don't want a gray arrow. I want a blue arrow. And I want over here with the border color, I want a lime green border, but I want that border to show up. So I'm gonna make it four. Now I've got a shape. If I want the arrow to point a different way, I can do that. I can take the little dot at the top and move my arrow however I want. I can make my arrow shorter or longer. All different things that you can do with the shapes that you have in there. Okay. The next thing is drawing lines. Um, you have the drop down arrow here, which means there are all sorts of different lines that you can draw. You can do just a straight line. If I choose that one, it looks like a line segment here with the two endpoints. Here's my crosshairs. I click, I drag, there's my line. I make the line thicker. I always seem to choose four, I'm not sure why. I can make my line a color, right? But it's just a line. If I wanna move my line or change it in any way, I just grab one of the endpoints. If I want to do something like an arrow, I can click on the arrow. See, I went to the drop down box, down to the arrow, and now I'll draw, try that again. Now I'll draw an arrow. Same thing as the line, pick a color, pick a thickness, right? And you can move your arrow however you want. Pretty basic things here that you can do. They're all very similar. The way you change text boxes, the way you change shapes, the way you change lines, the way you change images, all very similar. If you wanna do something called a scribble, that means that's kind of like free drawing. And um, you can just choose scribble. And let's say I wanted to just make a spring. All right, there you go, there's my scribble. What I found with scribbles is that if you make the line a little bit thicker, it looks a little bit better. <clears throat> but I'll do that sometimes when I'm making diagrams or I wanna draw something myself and an arrow or a curved line doesn't get it done. So these are ways that you can draw as well. One other thing I want to show you is how to arrange um, items on your page. Let's say I have my text box here and I have an arrow, but I want the arrow to be behind my text box. So to do that, I can go up here where it says arrange, order, send backwards. And as I do that, you might have to click it a couple times. It will send it backwards. There are shortcuts on the keyboard for that. Usually it's like control and then the arrow keys. So you could do control down or control up would bring it back. I use the arrow keys, but again, to arrange things on the slides, if I want to bring it all the way to the front, I just say bring to the front. And you can, you can layer a bunch of different ones um, together. So if I wanted the arrow on, right now it's behind the swirl. If I wanted it in front of the swirl, I would arrange, order, bring to front. Now it's on top. So that's just one trick there as well. If you want a background on your slide, you can click here where it says background. And then you can choose an image 
or you can choose a color. So if I wanted a solid color, let's say um, orange, that's going to be horrendous, I think. Ah. So you can change your color of your background. You can choose an image for your background. All these different options here. You can choose by camera. You can browse the files in your computer already. Um, same thing as adding. So if I wanted um, stars, right? Say I wanted it to be like at night. Now we're a dyno at night, okay? Those are pretty much the basics of what you'll need to do in Google Slides. If you need to copy a slide for any reason, all you do is select your slide. Here you can see that it's highlighted around the slide. That means I'm working with this slide right here. If I right click with my mouse or on Chromebooks and many laptops, you do a two finger touch to do a right click. You have all these options. So you can duplicate this slide just like that, okay? If you backspace that slide as it's highlighted, it will get rid of that slide. So um, I'm actually going to get rid of this slide because I don't need a dino slide in the middle of my parts of a plant interactive notebook. There are a lot of options for you to work on things in Google Slides. And as you go through the interactive notebooks, you'll see how those things that you learn and the tools in Google Slides help you out um, in your interactive notebook. And then when you have to build slides of your own, you'll be a master. So enjoy. I've included a tip sheet, a Google Slides tip sheet with some of the directions that we just went over now. So you can use that as well as a reference point to what you need to do to uh, work with your slides. All right, take care, have fun.